Amphibians are some of the most fascinating animals on Earth. They are one of the five classes of vertebrates that includes frogs, toads, salamanders, newts, and Sicilians. There are over 8,000 known species, and around 7,400 of those are frogs and toads. Some are brightly colored and toxic. Others are camouflaged masters of disguise. Some are as small as your thumbnail. While others, like the Chinese giant salamander, can grow to nearly two meters long. They've been around for over 350 million years surviving through mass extinctions and dramatic shifts in the Earth's climate. What makes amphibians so interesting is how different they are from most other vertebrate animals we know. Unlike mammals, birds, and reptiles, they don't start life as tiny versions of their adult selves. Instead, they go through a dramatic transformation called metamorphosis. This incredible change in body form often involves a transition from life in water to life on land. They are cold-blooded, which means they rely on their surroundings for heat. Most amphibians live close to water sources or in damp, humid environments. but some have adapted to much drier conditions, like the spadefoot toad, which can survive in arid deserts by spending most of its life underground. Their diversity and adaptability make them a key part of ecosystems all over the world, but also one of the first groups to suffer when the environment changes. One common mistake people make is confusing amphibians with reptiles. Sicilians can easily be mistaken for snakes due to their long, limbless bodies. And salamanders closely resemble lizards with their slender forms and tails. Although both amphibians and reptiles are cold-blooded, Reptiles usually have scaly, waterproof skin and lay hard-shelled eggs. While amphibians have soft, moist skin and usually lay their eggs in water. Amphibians can be found on every continent except Antarctica. From steamy rainforests and alpine streams to underground burrows in dry regions. The word amphibian comes from the Greek word amphibios, meaning double life. It's a fitting name because most amphibians live the first stages of their life in water and the adult stages on land. This double life begins in water, where most amphibians lay their eggs. The eggs hatch into larvae that breathe through gills and swim using tails. Newly hatched frog larvae are called tadpoles, while salamander larvae are called efts. As they grow, they undergo a transformation called metamorphosis. Their bodies change dramatically. Tails shrink or disappear, legs develop, and gills are replaced by lungs. This allows them to move onto land and breathe air as adults. 
As larvae, they use gills to take in oxygen from water. As adults, they develop lungs, but many also breathe through their skin. Their skin is thin and moist, allowing oxygen to pass directly into their bloodstream. Amphibians are often called indicator species because their health reflects the health of the environment. Their thin, absorbent skin makes them especially vulnerable to pollution, rising temperatures, and increased sun exposure. And around the world, amphibian populations are declining due to habitat loss, disease, and changing climates. Amphibians play a vital role in ecosystems all around the world. They help control insect populations and serve as food for other animals. Protecting amphibians helps protect entire ecosystems and even small actions like reducing plastic waste, supporting habitat conservation, or spreading awareness can make a difference. Don't forget to subscribe!